Today I'm going to be showing you how I hatch my eggs in this small corridor as you can see. So I basically what I'm going to show is that I catch my flies or the eggs from the wild and this is what I do. I dump all the rubbish from the hole just in this thing and then I put these eggies, this this what we call eggies and then they come and lay eggs in these gaps. So let me just show you some bit of eggs. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. Um, let me show you some eggs. I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but uh, there are eggs here. Uh, there's an egg there. There's an egg there. So I don't know whether they are clear, but let's just do it. So I'm going to show you how I hatch the eggs. And these ones are all from the wild. So. That's why I say anybody can start this black shoulder fly rearing. And then what I basically do, I collect these things after about three to four days. And then I bring them over here. So what I do, I get my scissor and I start removing the, uh, cutting the eggs out of this so that I can hatch them. So this is the first step picking them from there and then you see where the eggs are so I'm seeing eggs here and then what I do I just have to cut them uh, cut them out of this as you can see the, there's an egg there I don't know whether you're able to see so I keep them different and then I continue to look for the eggs Basically, what I can tell you is that all these eggs are from the wild. So you can see eggs here. I think these ones are more clear. And then I just remove uh, almost for all of these things. Uh, and then I look around. I see some here. So I just cut them out. After cutting, put them aside. There are more eggs over here. Uh, and you remember, like one egg has over one bunch of egg has over seven hundred or about five hundred to seven hundred of them. So if you have like say 10 for the beginning that's worth it you can start your colony with that and just know what I use right now is that I use my I use the rubbish from home to do all this I don't get another source I'm just trying to be like somebody who cares about the environment and want that sustainable form of environment so you can see my my little cock here I feed it with my project so anything that i do here should be of importance now i'm just trying to recycle the kitchen waste we have at home i need it for something better you know this cock will grow and somebody also <laughs> it will taste good you know <laughs> so let me get this i know there are very many but there are very many eggs over here you can see some are here so basically why I use the boxes is that I have a lot of them. As you can see here, it's really a lot. So I can get a lot of them at ease and I just, and they're very convenient, you know. So let me see, but there are too many of them over here. I see there are more eggs also here. Uh, there are also eggs here. But have about closely to 50 of them uh, let me just show you this is one that I can show you so you can see from in here that this is the egg I don't know whether you can see so all of them have then what I do next I have some rice husk here uh, I can choose to first pour some water here just to hatch the eggs. Now let me show you how I hatch the eggs. So I put some little water and then I add the rice husk in the water. So
So this is basically what I do. I mix it up. Don't make sure. Don't make it too. Uh, like just make it, it should not be too watery or too solid because the eggs are not going to hatch immediately and you don't need to spoil the eggs when it is too watery so what I do I, I basically mix the rice husk with more water and then when you mix it with more water so what's, what happens next is that you have to put the eggs in here but so let's mix it very well and you see how easy it is I see the, the container is too big so we can add more Since it is too dry, you can add more water. Uh, add more water into it. Just make sure that it looks like a uniform mixture. So this is what I've gotten. Does not take long. One to two minutes is enough. So what you do, you then spread this container that you're using so you spread this it does not have to be a lot just a little at the bottom so why I put this is because it is nice for the larvae when they hatch so this is a ready food for them Let me just show you. So just spread it here. It's over there. So what do we do? What I just do, and then I just put my eggs on top. Just put my eggs over here. And then wait for about three days. You see that the eggs will be hatched. And the larva will begin to feed on the rice husk. So this is what I do, I pick them, I put them here, put them here. So after hatching you find that the larvae will move into the rice husk which is the first source of food that they will have and they will eat from here so and this is where you can get uniform sizes of black soldier fly larvae. So in case I had to give it to the chicken, but I'm going to use this to grow my colony to a big size. So that's all. And what I just do, I put it, I usually keep it in the box. So I have already a hatch to one here. Let me just show you what I have. Aha, uh -huh. so let's get into this. So this is a this is about a week old. Now let me show you that. So this ones are hatched already. I guess there should be a lot here. So you can see. So this ones are hatched. And so right now I can feed them with a normal kind of waste, kitchen waste from the house and all that. So you can look at this. So they are yet young and they're after 15 days, after two weeks, they'll be good for my cock here. So you can look at this, like it's really a lot. So, so this is it. And then that's all for today. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video for me to like and so that let, let's all be sustainable and have our waste recycled and maybe we also grow our own meat at home you know meat is becoming scarce and we all need to have it thank you for watching like don't forget to subscribe bye bye